extra low voltage, in electricity supply, is one of several means to protect against electrical shock. The International Electrotechnical Commission and its member organizations define an ELV circuit as one in which the electrical potential of any conductor against Earth is not more than either 25 volts RMS for alternating current, or ripple free 60 volts for direct current under dry conditions. Lower numbers apply in wet conditions, or when large contact areas are exposed to contact with the human body. The IEC defines three types of extra low voltage systems which are distinguished by their successively more restrictive safety properties. Some types of landscape lighting use extra low voltage. Types, this section is ordered from most restrictive, to least restrictive. Equals separated or safety extra low voltage equals, IEC defines a SELV system as an electrical system in which the voltage cannot exceed ELV under normal conditions, and under single fault conditions including earth faults in other circuits. There exists some confusion regarding the origin of the acronym, SELV stands for Separated Extra Low Voltage in Installation Standards and for Safety Extra Low Voltage in Appliance Standards. A SELV circuit must have protective separation from all circuits other than SELV and PELV, simple separation from other SELV systems, from PELV systems and from earth. The safety of a SELV circuit is provided by, the extra low voltage, the low risk of accidental contact with the higher voltage. The lack of a return path through earth that electric current could take in case of contact with a human body. The design of a SELV circuit typically involves an isolating transformer, guaranteed minimum distances between conductors and electrical insulation barriers. The electrical connectors of SELV circuits should be designed such that they do not mate with connectors commonly used for non-SELV circuits. A typical example for a SELV circuit is a Class III battery charger, fed from a Class II power supply. Equals protected extra low voltage equals, IEC 61140 defines a PELV system as an electrical system in which the voltage cannot exceed ELV under normal conditions and under single fault conditions, except earth faults in other circuits. A PELV circuit only requires protective separation from all circuits other than SELV and PELV, but it may have connections to other PELV systems and earth. In contrast to a SELV circuit, a PELV circuit can have a protective earth connection. A PELV circuit, just as with SELV, requires a design that guarantees a low risk of accidental contact with a higher voltage. For a transformer, this can mean that the primary and secondary windings must be separated by an extra insulation barrier, or by a conductive shield with a protective earth connection. A typical example for a PELV circuit is a computer with a Class I power supply. Equals functional extra low voltage equals the term functional extra low voltage describes any other extra low voltage circuit that does not fulfill the requirements for an SELV or PELV circuit. Although the FELV part of a circuit uses an extra low voltage, it is not adequately protected from accidental contact with higher voltages in other parts of the circuit. Therefore the protection requirements for the higher voltage have to be applied to the entire circuit. Examples for FELV circuits include those that generate an extra low voltage through a semiconductor device or a potentiometer. Standalone power systems, cabling for extra low voltage systems, such as in remote area power systems, is designed to minimize energy losses while maximizing safety. Lower voltages require a higher current for the same power. The higher current results in greater resistive losses in the cabling. Cable sizing must therefore consider maximum demand, voltage drop over the cable, and current carrying capacity. Voltage drop is usually the main factor considered, but current carrying capacity is as important when considering short, high current runs such as between a battery bank and inverter. Arcing is a risk in DCELV systems, and some fuse types which can cause undesired arcing include semi enclosed, rewirable, and automotive fuse types. Instead high rupturing capacity fuses and appropriately rated circuit breakers are the recommended type for RAPS. Cable termination and connections must be done properly to avoid arcing also.
and soldering is not recommended. Regulations equals Australia and New Zealand equals ELV is defined in ASNZS 3000 wiring rules as not exceeding 50 VAC or 120 V ripple free DC. However, ASSIF S009 clause 3.1.78.1 extra low voltage estates, a voltage not exceeding 42.4 V peak or 60 V DC. As NZS 60950.1-2003, and adds a note. This definition differs from the ELV definition contained in ASNZS 3000-2000, which is more closely aligned to the telecommunications network voltage limits. That is 120 VDC or 70.7 VAC peak, TNV is the traditional line limit to accommodate telephone ringing machine voltage Urum a current limiting source on top of the nominally minus 48 VDC battery supply which could be encountered on a telephone line and was not considered hazardous whereas 120 back without current limiting at its source can inject 115 megampers into individuals leading to fibrillation of the heart. In most Australian states there are no formal constraints as to who can work on ELV systems. AS 4509.1 Standalone Power Systems Safety requires that work be performed by a competent person that is a person who has acquired through training, qualifications, experience, or a combination of these knowledge and skill enabling that person to correctly perform the task required. ELV wiring in domestic premises must be installed at a minimum distance of 50 mm from low voltage wiring or have a separate insulating barrier such a conduit. ELV cable and wire types include PVC insulated building wire, double insulated thermoplastic sheath, and fine stranded multi-strand cable. State regulations override the Australian standards, and there are some differences. Equals Brazil equals, ELV is officially defined into the regulatory standard number 10 from the Brazilian Ministry of Labor and Employment as any voltage not exceeding 50 volts AC or 120 volts DC. Although that standard defines safety rules for electricity, the regulatory standard number 12 requires an even lower voltage for start and stop devices on machines and equipment made from March 2012 and on stating it shall not exceed 25 volts AC or 60 volts DC. References